This first lesson will demonstrate how to connect English uh, with mathematics and how to solve a couple of problems by graphing lines. And in the first example, we're asked to translate uh, some sentences into, uh, with words, of course, into either algebraic equations or expressions. The first one we have the value of 10 decreased by a number. So, of course, we would start with 10. And decrease by means we're subtracting that number from it. So 10 decreased by a number, we could write 10 minus n. Now we could let, we could use any variable whatsoever. It doesn't have to be n for the number. It could be anything you want. But notice the number is subtracted from 10, so we have to write 10 minus n. You cannot write n minus 10. That would be a number decreased by 10, which is not what this says. So it has to be 10 minus the number. In the second one, one third of a number, means we multiply the number by a third or divide the number by three. We could also write here n divided by three. Increased by, increased by means we add and six. Now is translates into it equals or is equal to 13. So one third of a number, one third n plus six increased by six is or equals 13. This is an equation. It's an equation because it has an equal sign in it. The first one in A here was just an expression, 10 minus n. It's not an equation, it's just an algebraic expression. In C, Samantha's weekly earnings, and we're let capital E represent her earnings, are $500 plus 8% commission on her sales. So we start with $500, and we're going to add to that, and 8% commission would be, 8% is 0 0.08, multiplied by her sales. So we're finding 8% of her sales, so 0 0.08 times S. That's added to the 500, and that's what E equals. So E equals 500 plus 0 0.08S. And in the example on the second page, uh, Evelyn is throwing a 50th wedding anniversary for her parents, and she has two caterers to choose from. The first one is top-line caterers. They do not charge a flat fee, but they do charge $30 per person. And the second caterer does charge a fixed fee of $200, but only $25 per person. And we're asked when each caterer is a better deal. So the first thing you should do in a question like this is decide what variables you have and what letters you'll use to represent them. So we have cost here. I'm going to let capital C represent cost and P the number of people at the party. So for the top line caterer, and notice my subscript here, that's how I would know in the future if I looked at this again that that's a top line caterer is thirty dollars per person so you would take thirty and multiply by the number of people attending the party so C equals thirty P the grand caterer is two hundred dollars that's the fixed fee plus we're gonna charge twenty five dollars per person so twenty five times the number of people plus two hundred and we're gonna graph both of these so the first one the top line caterer if we had no people if P was 0. 30 times 0, of course, is 0, so that's when this one starts right at the origin. For 20 people, if we put 20 in here, 20 times 30 is 600, so that's why this is a 600. Notice the scale here is 200. 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000. For 40 people, 30 times 40 is 1,200, so that's why at 40 people, top line charge is $1,200. And we'll move on to the end of the graph here. This would be 100 people, so 30 times 100, of course, would be 3,000. So that's why this is at 3,000. For the grand caterer, if we put 0 in place of P, 25 times 0, of course, is 0, plus 200. So that one will start at 200. Oh, and I forgot to graph my line here, and we'll label this. So the grand caterer starts at 200 here. So let's move over here to 40 people. If we put 40 here, 25 times 40, is a thousand plus two hundred is twelve hundred so at forty they charge twelve hundred so we've actually found the point where the two are the same so we'll draw our line through here for the grand caterer and label that line so that's the point where they're the same now we were asked to uh, to state when each caterer is a better deal notice the blue line is lower here of course, we want the cheaper one. So below 40 people, the uh, top line is cheaper. Above 40 people, the grand caterer is cheaper. 
So that's where asked to state. So at 40 guests, the two caterers both charge 1200. The top line caterer is cheaper below 40 people. That's the blue line here. And the grand caterer is cheaper above 40 people. So